blame it on the rain. Well, hey there, friendlies. How's up? It's raining. It's eight degrees. And in order to be under cover, I have to be positioned so that there's a lot of traffic noise coming in. So what we got? We got traffic noise. We got rain. We got wind. Uh, but we have a sort of directional mic. We have a lav mic that may work for me this time. And we got whiskey. In fact, look at this. Look at this. Hold on. Let me get them both. Boom. You've seen one of these. You haven't seen the other. Uh, this one here is batch three of the Alberta premium cask strength, which I reviewed and have liked very much. That's batch two is 66%. And what I picked up yesterday is batch three, which is 63.7%, merely 63.7%. Uh, so I figured I would do a little compare and contrast. Now, let me pour out some whiskey and then we'll talk about it. It's funny how often I, uh, I do that, right? Here's the batch two, which I will keep on my right side. I shall put that there. And here is the batch three, which I shall keep on my left side. I forgot my knife, guys. It's non-traditional. Wait a second. <laughs> I may have forgotten my knife, but I still have my silky saw. We're keeping the, uh, the bushcraft undertones alive here, folks. There we go. I can't believe I forgot the knife. Jeez, Jess. Same cheap paper thang here. Same dollar store look. But hopefully, same premium taste. Same twist soft cap. I just took a wee sniff there. Kind of cheating. All right. You're on the left, you're on the right. All right. One thing I do want to say, uh, there are some subtle differences in sort of the, the look and feel, I guess. One is that the, um, the cardboard on the batch three seems slightly cheaper. Like on batch two, it was, it's nicely uh, textured and it's a matte. Uh, batch three is a little more sort of typical sort of satin blah 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 it's not as nice a, a feel they've definitely changed up the look a little bit I mean that's to be expected right because each of these is like a limited uh, and a limited edition batch right so here's your old one here's your new one different text treatment slightly larger barrel uh, on the back same everything's exactly the same I shall turn the back without dropping anything they're identical on the sides the only difference really is that they've got a new serif font instead of the old sans serif so let's get these boxes out of the way <clears throat> the subtle changes do transfer to the bottles where uh, there's a slightly different text that's not going to be in in focus is it I don't is that coming into focus that's your batch too I'm hoping that's coming into focus uh, it's a little more industrial looking like they they played up the the serif fonts for batch three um, batch two is black where batch three is a more gray color you know I mean but these are just you kind of have to update the look if you're doing limited editions every year, right? So, uh, let's do a little compare and contrast, shall we? All right. Yeah. Let's have a seat, shall we? <laughs> Hold on. All right. Let's see. Uh, there we go. Sorry, guys. It's, uh, 
limitation of the technology here. All right, so <laughs> it's fine, right? It's okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> We're fine. We're good. Um, <clears throat> so uh, I'll start with nosing them. I'll put these here so that you can see what I'm dealing with here. Take a little sip of the water. Very nice, very sweet. A lot of those usual rye notes. Uh, most of you will probably have seen my review of this, which will be up there. It's got a lot of nice rye spice, a lot of caramel sweetness and brown sugar action happening. I'm expecting very, very similar notes here. They're very, very similar, obviously. Um, there's a very slight difference. This one may be a little lighter, a little airier, slightly. Um, I will now go to the tasting. I've said it once and I'll say it again. That is a high octane dram. Okay, 66%. That's fierce, man. <clears throat> That's so fierce that you hear it growl when you pop the top off. Um, and, but like right after that, there's a lot of really good flavors happening. You got that brown sugar thing, maybe a little creme brulee. Creme brulee. Um, <clears throat> there's, there's a custard thing, there's, the, there's that rye spice, there's an oakiness. So good. So good. And nosing it after tasting it. I'm doing this much quicker than I usually do a review because this is kind of a just a compare and contrast. Like it really goes pow up front, but then immediately it settles back. So you get like a warm hug on your tongue, a lot of pepper notes, a lot of spice notes. Um, I think there's like a gingery thing or a nutmeg happening there. Big on the sweet, big on the brown sugar, big on the vanillas and caramel notes. Um, and after that first, it, it calms right down. It gets way smoother at the end. Uh, and the, the finish is quite long. That's all I'm gonna say about that one. I'm going to cleanse the palate. And the nose for batch three. Yeah, it's it's very slightly airier. I've said that before. I'm trying to say like maybe five percent or something. I, I'm trying to say it's a very slight difference. got a slightly darker taste to it. The currants, I mean, there's currants in there too. Um, you get kind of a berry thing. Definitely big rye spice, big pepper. But then the caramel lands right after that. This one, strangely, hits a little hotter on the tongue but it's only 63.7 percent so i find that really interesting i wonder <clears throat> what the age is of this like it doesn't say anywhere the finish is definitely i mean it just lingers very spicy very kind of warm a warm tingle a little effervescent on the tongue I get that with um, a, a lot of rye, so I'm gonna, just gonna cleanse and try that again. Nose again. It's funny, because this one is definitely hitting heavier. There's something, the spice seems bigger on this one. 
Now, is that because this one's been open for a few months now? And like, I'm way past the neck pour. Hell, I'm way past the shoulder pour on this, right? Um, I'm drinking it as slowly as I can. I like both of these bottles. I think maybe we should add a touch of water to see what that does. Like if, if there's any difference in the character after water has been added. Just gonna add a little tiny bit. I'm just letting that sit for a minute to see if, uh, if it blooms better over time. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is that they both have a nice oily hit to the mouth. Uh, very nice, um, friendly feel in the mouth. So batch two, batch three. It seems to me that adding that little bit of water lightens this one up more than the batch three. Adding the water tones it down, uh, softens it up slightly, hollows it out just a little bit. I've said that about uh, about whiskeys before, but what I mean is like where there's usually like a, a bump in the heat and the spice, sort of just a little dip. I'm interested to see what it does to this, to the batch three. All right, batch three, let's do it. The water, for some reason, brought the, the claws out on this one. Um, that's really weird, because I feel that the water hollowed this one out a bit, toned it way down. This one, the caramel's gone. Or it's not gone, but it's way at the back. What The pepper and the rye spice just went boom, you know? So that's very interesting. Before adding the water, either of these would hit at around the same point. Um, I like them both a lot. After the water, I would not add water. Maybe adding water, I would have to just let this one sit for longer with the water in it. Oh, did you guys see that? <laughs> I'm going inside. I, what I wanted to say was, I, I like both of these. I desperately wish I had a sample of batch one to try uh, just so I could do ABC uh, but I've seen it look I don't do secondary and I can't afford to do it secondary so I'm just going to extrapolate from what I see here way to go Alberta distillers all right I'm really going inside because now I'm all soaking wet and it's like eight degrees out so that's all she wrote thanks for hanging out with me for this little compare and contrast uh, I'm probably not hitting all the points I wanted to hit because I'm cold and I want to go back inside. But if you like what I'm doing, do the following three things. One, comment down below. Is there a question that you think I should have hit? Because as I said, I'm in a hurry. So, <laughs> you know, ask away and I will answer in the comments down below. Two, share this video. That helps me more than you could possibly imagine. And three, leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's all right. Leave me a frowny thumb. Thanks for watching, guys.